breaths, breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Last one. And then starting to breathe just very, very gently in and out through the nose, soft and steady. And on this, our last day of summer, before the autumn begins, a reading from Dana Folds. Rest inside your perfect wholeness, unassailed by doubt. Rest within the luminous moment of knowing when the small self disappears. Rest in the remembering that exists when all creation is seen for what it is, one free and conscious being. We are, each one of us, nothing but this, our sense of separateness dissolving into yes. Letting the belly dissolve into the breath. Letting the ribs flow out and in with the breath. Letting the chest gently lift and relax with the breath. And scanning through the body now, finding any places the breath has not yet touched. And allow the breath to flow into those spaces as well. Scanning through the body, noticing how things are. Open, tight, achy, tense. It's all part of the practice. Letting the neck relax. And the next time you breathe in, drink in the fullest breath yet. And as you exhale, let the chin come down toward the chest. Breathing in, flowing back up to the top. And then gently moving with your breath. Next time the head is rolling up to the top, let the exhale turn the chin to look over one shoulder. Inhaling through center, exhaling to the other side. And we'll keep going, gently moving side to side. And the next time the head is coming to center, just pause there. And on the exhale, drop the chin down toward the chest. Inhaling the left ear rolls up over the left shoulder. Take a big exhale. And then circling the nose, easy breath.
And we'll circle around in the other direction. And then we'll exhale the chin down to center. Inhale up over the right side and then take a big exhale through the mouth. <sighs> and as you are ready, starting to circle the nose. And we'll circle around in the other direction. And we'll roll the chin down to center and back up to the top. And let's inhale the arms up overhead. Maybe lift the heart and then exhale back down to earth a couple more times and then we'll unwind those legs rolling ourselves up onto all fours and we'll crawl ourselves onto a soft place on your mat and we'll start to flow through our cat and our cow breaths nice and easy just warming up no hurry And then we'll sink the hips back into child's pose. Maybe stretch those arms out in front of the body as far as they'll go. Sinking down, relaxing the low back. And then walking back up to all fours. And we'll walk the hands a little forward so we can circle those hips round and round. And if there's a part that's particularly achy, pause, go super slowly through that area. Breathe as you move. And then circle around in the other direction. And we'll come back to center and tuck the toes under, lifting the hips up and back, pedaling out those feet for downward facing dog. Bring the knees back to earth. Untuck those toes. Sink the hips back and down. Child's pose. And this time, walk the hands as far forward as they'll go. And then walk them over to one side. Melting the heart down. Lateral movement. Just warming up. If you've gone too far, it's hard to breathe. Then come back a little. We want to be comfy in this opening stretch. Walk through center and over to the other side. And we'll walk back to center, lifting up to all fours, tucking those toes, hips coming up and back, downward facing dog. And we'll pedal out those feet. And let's 
Let's walk the feet up under the body, bending the knees. Let's sway a little side to side in our rag doll. Let the head just drop right down. You could sway the arms side to side. Good. Nice, easy movement. And then maybe even hold opposite arms. Let the head drop down, creating more and more space between the vertebrae. And then we'll drop the hands down, bend those knees even more, rolling all the way up to the top. And when you get there, we'll bring those shoulders around and around. Good. <sighs> Shake out the arms a little. And we'll bring the feet a little wider, bending the knees and circling out the hips. And we'll circle in the other direction. Notice if your breath has changed now that we're up and moving. Good. And then if you have a railing or a chair, a dresser, uh, something handy for balance, go ahead and hold on. If you're okay, you feel wanna, like you want to try it, just go ahead and Bring those hands to the hips. We'll just bend one knee and let it swing. Good. And then we'll come to the other side. Good. And first side, we'll bring the right leg behind us and we'll point the toe. So uh, the toe will be, the top of the foot will be gently pressing down. And tippy toe it back as far as you can and then take a tiny bend in that front knee and come up. Welcome Mary Lou. Get a little warmed up and then join us as you're ready. So a little bend in that front knee should get a good stretch in the front of your back leg. Good. And then bring the back leg up and we'll bring the left leg back as far as you can reach it. Keep holding on to a chair if it helps as we start to bend and straighten the front leg just a little bit, stretching the front of the left foot and shin. Good, and then bring that back leg up. Feet come a little wider than the hips again. Let's circle. Good, and let's pretend that we're finger painting and we want it to be super smooth so our hips are smooth all the way around. Doesn't have to be big, but nice and smooth. And then back the other direction. <laughs> Riley's helping me teach today. <laughs> like a toddler, right? Helping me. Oh. Good. And then we'll come back to center. If you'd like to hold on for balance, you can. That left leg this time is going to lift up and down, up and down. So we're strengthening the hip flexors. And then other side. Good. And let's come back to the first side and we'll just bring that leg straight out to the side, only a couple inches. We don't want to crunch the spine, so standing up nice and tall. Good. And then second side. And then let's bring the feet a little wider. And this time we're shifting side to side. So sinking that hip out to one side as if you were slow motion closing a car door. 
because your arms were full of some groceries or boxes. And next time the hips are over to the left side, sweep that left arm up and across. Reach up out of the spine. And then come to center. Hands find the hips. Bend those knees side to side. And the next time those hips are over on the right side, just pause there. So we want to lift up through the belly. So we're supporting the low back as the right arm sweeps up and across. And then come back to center. Good. Take that little bend in the knees and gently twist around center. And let's focus again on our breath. down to center. Let's bring those feet right under the hips and open the arms up and above. Drop the hands down through the heart and then interlace those fingers. Send the pointers right back up to the sky. Exhale to one side. Breathing in to the top. Breathing out to the side. Breathing into the top. Open the arms. Drop your tailbone. Lift the heart. Breathing for a moment here. Out and in. Out and in. And then forward fold all the way down. Your choice. Knees could stay straight or they could bend a little. Check in with your low back. What do you need today? And when you're ready, bend those knees, walk the hands and feet apart into downward facing dog. And we'll pedal those feet. And coming into stillness with the legs, turn the head ever so gently side to side. And then dropping down to all fours, untuck the toes, melt those hips back into child's pose. And this time, let's walk the hands back by the feet. Relax the low back. Relax the shoulders. One more breath, maybe a letting go breath. And then we'll walk the hands forward. And this time, we'll slide the chin and nose along the floor, pressing up into all fours with an arch to cow spine. And then roll the tailbone under, spine reaching for the sky into our cat. And again, rolling tailbone, low back, middle back, upper back, head. Starting with the tailbone, dipping under, and everything else follows. And then coming to neutral spine, bring the elbows down to the floor. And let's just check and make sure the elbows are directly under our shoulders so we have a really good setup here. Pick up that left knee, scooch it to center as we extend the right leg out behind the body. Lift through the belly. And we'll bring the right leg across the body, tapping it down on the other side of that left leg and then come back to center. So crisscross and back. Crisscross and back. Couple more. 
Pastor Riley was so helpful today. I decided I needed some puppy energy today. And we'll bring that right leg down and sweep it to center so you're nice and stable. And then bring the left leg up behind the body, engaging the core. Reach the left leg across the right, dipping those toes to the floor, and then back to center. Good. And keeping the neck right in line with the spine, the head right in line with the neck. Crisscross and open. Couple more. Next time that leg is coming up, just bring the knees to earth, and we'll actually walk the legs back, bringing the belly down, turn the elbows to face out, making a little pillow for the forehead with the hands. And we'll bend the knees, make little windshield wipers with those feet coming side to side, releasing the low back. Good. And bring the feet down to the earth. Uh, slide the hands with the palms down right back by the hips. And we'll pick up the hips, roll the pubic bone to press down. So we're engaging our core. So lifting through the belly, just a little tiny cat tilt in the low spine, the pelvis. And then on an inhale, lift the head, the shoulders. Maybe the arms, just a little bit. Relax that neck. Keep the neck safe, in line with the spine, looking right down toward us. Breathing here, half boat. Good place for your ocean breath, right? Ujjayi ocean breath. Take one more breath in, and then relax everything down. Turn the head to one side, resting on one cheek. Roll the hands to face up with the elbows down, and just rest and breathe with the eyes closed. <sighs> And we'll turn the head back to center. Roll the palms to face down. And on an inhale, reach the head, shoulders, and arms up. Maybe the legs reach back and up just a little bit as well. Maybe. So belly is engaged. If there's any tension in the back, leave it alone. Let it go. One more breath in, and then we'll melt everything down, turn, resting on the other cheek this time, rotate the arms so the palms face up, elbows out to the sides just a little, and we'll bend the knees, windshield wiper those legs side to side. And we'll bring the palms right under the shoulders. Hug the elbows in close. Pick up the hips. Engage your core. Press the pubic bone down. Hugging the shoulder blades down. Let the crown of the head come forward and up. Forward and up. Forward and up. Into a little baby cobra. Breathing here. And then your choice. You could push up just a little more if that would feel good, pulling the heart forward and the shoulders down and back. Or you could come down and turn the head to one side and relax. 
So coming in a little further or a little less, your choice. And then coming all the way down, turn the head to one side, bring the palms to face up, bend those knees, windshield wiper, the legs side to side. And then we'll bring the legs back to center and down. Bring the palms again under the shoulders. Hugging those elbows in close. Engage your core. And this time rise up into your cobra and keep going. Coming up to all fours. And then sinking the hips back and down into your child's pose. And melt the low back open. Coming back up to all fours, let's tuck the toes, lifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And we'll pedal the feet, but this time let the knees crisscross across the body. So we're sinking into the hips just a little more here. And we'll walk the feet up under the body, bending the knees, take the weight off those hands and sway a little side to side in your rag doll. And as you're ready, drop those hands down. And start to bend the knees, rolling yourself all the way up to the top. And we'll bring those shoulders around and around. Ah, good. And we'll bring the feet out a little wider and come around center again. We've been here before, but it might feel different this time. And we'll wind back down to center, bending those knees. Hands come to the hips. And let's circle out those hips. And we'll circle in the other direction. Oh, excuse me, I've got some sneeze. Keep circling, breathing. And we'll come back to center, shake out those hands, and we'll bring the feet right under the hips. Circle the shoulders round and round. Good. And then rotate the palms to face forward. And open the arms as far back as they want to go. Drop your tailbone. Lift your heart. Get a little taller through the spine. And then come back to neutral. Slide the palms to the thighs, bending the knees. We'll go through a standing cat and cow. And we'll roll ourselves up to the top and roll those shoulders again, round and round. And then interlace the hands behind the body, <laughs> reach the fingers down and back, hug those shoulder blades together, and lift the heart. If this doesn't feel good, 
uh, in the shoulders or wrists or elbows, let go. You can just roll the palms to face each other and reach the fingertips down and back. Relax the back of the neck as much as possible as you breathe. And then reach the head forward. Let those arms float up behind you as the head comes down. Maybe taking a gentle bend in the knees. Now the head and neck are relaxed. And we'll reach the arms up behind us, coming up with a flat back. Release the hands and wrap yourself up in a big hug. Come over to one side, bend the knees round to center. Come up over the other side, bend and round. Inhale up to one side, one more time. Uh, next time you're dropping down to center, slide the tops of the hands to the thighs, bend the knees a little more, tip the tailbone up and back the heart forward, cow. Rolling and rounding cats. Rolling and opening, shoulders slide down the back. Good, last time rounding cat and roll yourself all the way up shoulders coming around good so let's turn sideways on our mat now so that you have stability under you the feet nice and wide and parallel and we'll roll the shoulders again and bring the elbows up and around as well and then let the hands land on the low back. So the thumbs are pointing out to the sides and the shoulders are pulling gently towards one another as we lift the heart. So we're coming into a wide-legged lift and then forward fold all the way down. Let the hands slide to the floor. And if the floor is right there, great. If not, bend the knees a little or get some blocks. You want to be able to be stable here. Good. And from here, let's bend one knee just a little bit. Sink the opposite hip down. Keep lifting through the kneecap. Then come through center, bend the other leg. Keep engaging the straight leg, saving that little knee, sinking the hip, coming back through center. Other side, one more time. And second side, last time. And then coming back to center. Plant that right hand. Inhale, the left arm open as the belly twists toward the left. Exhale, hand comes down. Plant that left hand. Inhale, the right arm opens. The belly opens. Exhale down, going side to side with your breath. coming down to center bend the knees and roll yourself up you could use the hands to help you as you come to the top and then we'll heel toe the feet under the body just take a moment to shake out <sighs> And then we'll bring the feet right under the body. Inhale the arms up, interlacing the fingers, exhaling to one side. Breathing into the top. 
Breathing out, second side. Breathing into the top. Open the arms, lift the heart. Reach up through the fingertips, get taller. And then forward fold all the way down. Bending the knees, roll through the spine all the way up. Shoulders coming around. Good. And let's come into a balancing posture. So again, if you have a chair nearby or a dresser, uh, you might want to have that handy. So I don't think we've done Garudasana in quite a while. So Garudasana is the eagle. We'll start with bringing our weight into the right leg. We'll pick up that left leg, so we're crisscrossing. So maybe it's like you're sitting in a little chair, that lower knee bends a little bit. Maybe we wrap the foot around behind. Maybe not, that doesn't matter so much. What does matter is that we squeeze the thighs together, squeeze the glutes and drop the tailbone toward that right heel, your supporting heel. Good. That might be plenty for today, but if you want to add the arms, reach the arms out wide. And because our left leg is on top, our left arm is going under. We cross and wrap and sink and breathe. So if you're holding on with one arm, just bring the other arm up in front of you. Good. Keep dropping that tailbone. Steady breath, keep squeezing the thighs together. Squeezing the arms together. Maybe the elbows come up just a little, but be gentle. Good, I know it's a long hold. Hang in there. On an inhale, reach those wings out wide. Open the legs and come in for a landing. Bend the knees, inhale up, lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Breathing as you walk the hands and feet apart. Downward facing dog. Pedal out those legs. Any moans or groans or sighs that need to come out. This is a good time. Release. Good. And then walk those feet up under the body. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms out wide. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath and feel. And we'll open the eyes, release the arms. Shake out a moment if that would feel good. And we'll set up for the second side. So finding a nice stable place for that left foot. And we'll crisscross the right thigh over. Hips can be really different, so don't worry if the side feels really different. Most important is to squeeze the thighs together. Gently tuck the tailbone down toward the, the heel, the left heel. Good. Back of the neck is open. Jaw relaxed. If you'd like, you could sweep the arms out wide. Right leg's on top, so the right arm goes under. And we wrap. And we feel. And we breathe. Keep engaging legs towards each other, arms towards each other, breath easy up and down through the body. On an inhale. 
unwind the wings unwind the legs lift up and then settle both legs down bend the knees inhale sweep those arms up lift exhale forward fold inhale as you walk to your downward facing dog and this time let's sweep that right leg up behind the body circle the ankle round and round bend the knee lift that leg up as high as it will go roll the belly open toward the side and come back to center sweeping the left leg up behind you roll the belly open And come back to center. I forgot to roll the ankle, so we'll reach that leg up, roll the ankle round and round, and then back the other way. And then we'll bring both feet to earth, bring the knees to the ground, sink those hips back and down into our child's pose. Take a breath here. Ah. <sighs> And then we'll walk ourselves up to all fours and sink over onto one hip, coming around into a seated place. Good. So if crisscross works for your body, then great. If that doesn't feel good, um, you could sweep the right leg around behind you that might feel better and if the legs are crisscrossed let's bring the left leg in front Good. and then we'll walk ourselves forward nice flat back so we probably won't go really far unless your hips are very open you might only go a step or two and that might be just plenty for today Wherever you find yourself, soften into your breath. And after two slow breaths with a flat back, start to round over, exhaling as the spine becomes softer. Good. And we'll walk halfway up, not all the way, just halfway up. And then over to the right side. Keep that left hip down. Sometimes the left hip wants to pop up. Keep that left hip down and sink down just a little, breathing here. Halfway up, walk yourself through center, over to the other side. Make sure that right hip stays down on the floor as your spine is nice and tall. And then soften over that left knee. And we'll walk ourselves halfway up and then back to center. So we'll wiggle just a little side to side. Keep the sits bones down in center and walk yourself forward, softening, rounding over at the end. Steady out your breath. And then we'll walk ourselves back up to the top and just check in, make sure that that uh, left leg really was in front. And then we'll open the legs and uh, shake out a little. And then we'll bring the left leg in first and then the right. And if that doesn't feel so great, you can tuck uh, that left leg behind you if you like. Good, so coming up onto the sits bones. 
and taking it very slowly at first. We'll just walk forward, maybe an inch, maybe two. And then take a few breaths with a flat back. yourself over, breathing as you go. And walking yourself halfway up. And walking over to the left side. The right hip stays down behind you as you soften over, breathing into that hip, low back. And we'll walk halfway up, coming through center. Over to the other side. And then with the left hip down, just melt into your posture. A little more steady breath. front and this time we'll sway just a little side to side. Notice how things feel. And coming into center, sitting the hips back, crown of the head coming forward and up. And then walk yourself down into your best stretch where you can breathe. Final version, softening over just a little. Good. Keep it gentle. Keep it peaceful. Two more slow breaths here. And on your third inhale, walk yourself slowly up to the top. And keep going. Bring the hands behind you and lift the heart drop the shoulder blades down keep lifting through the heart and then come back up to the top wind yourself up in a big hug and circle round and round and then come back around in the other direction. center and we'll come down onto our backs so if you have sweaters or socks we have a few more postures to do but you might want those to be handy so they're right there uh, when we're ready for deep relaxation in a few minutes so when you 
get down onto your back and there's no hurry when you're ready um, I'm gonna put my vest on too <laughs> when you're ready and you get down onto the floor hug those legs in close the knees coming in toward the chest and we'll rock a little side to side I wish you could see my view I'm gonna share my view Rocking side to side, relaxing, easing up the green and the blue and the sunset colors. And we'll stretch the arms out wide in a T and bring those knees down to one side now, gentle twist, <sighs> and then coming up through center, and we'll come down to the other side, relaxing in a gentle twist. And then coming back up to the top. And let's bring the soles of the feet to the floor, hands down by the sides. And we'll just do a couple flowing bridge postures. Arms coming up behind the body as the hips roll to the sky. And then settling back down. with your breath a couple more times. And then next time the hips are touching down, stretch the legs out long on the floor. Turn the palms to face up. And take a moment to feel. We'll draw the right leg in close, hugging around the shin or maybe behind the thigh. Relaxing the left leg fully. right leg hugging the left leg in close now and let the right leg stretch out long breathing relaxing letting go Scanning through the body, noticing any spots of openness, any spots of tension, any places where the breath could flow and open. Letting the arms slide out to a T and drop those knees to one side. And this time we'll stay for a few breaths. Really settle in, relaxing the hips, the low back, the middle of the back, the shoulder blades, the upper spine, the neck, the jaw the hands.
as you're ready, bringing the knees up through center, and then softly down to your second side. Take your time adjusting the shoulders so the arms can be wide open, the shoulders touching the ground. Relax the legs. Relax the hips. Breathe into the hips, the low back. Exhale, warm air along the rib cage, the middle of the back. Exhale, drop the shoulders and arms down and out. Breathe easily through an open throat. Let there be space between the breaths. Space between the thoughts. Circling the knees apart and around and back together. And then coming around in the opposite direction. place for deep relaxation. Nothing more for you to do. So tuck yourself in, get warm and cozy, cover with a blanket. If it's still light where you are, perhaps cover the eyes with a sleeve or a sweater. Good, and as you tuck in, just coming back to all the events of your day and see if you can have a softer lens to those events. And let the lens get softer and softer until finally it becomes just a gentle blur on the horizon. Nothing to focus upon, just a gentle, gentle blur. And as you breathe and relax and soften into your deep relaxation, Allow that gentle horizon to gradually take on the colors of autumn. Rich browns, golds, and reds, the purples, all the shades of orange and gold. And let yourself drift in this space this peaceful, gentle space. Nothing more to do.
Gently now beginning to deepen your breath and letting some movement come back gently to the body. Maybe stretching out long or curling up in a little ball. seated posture. No hurry, just moving peacefully as you awaken. And we'll bring the hands together, gently resting in the center of the chest, maybe closing the eyes for a moment, maybe dropping the chin down just a little, softening the back of the neck. And we'll take a nice breath in, sit up tall, and we'll exhale with OM. Let's take one more breath in, sending an ohm out into the world for peace. Ohm. And one more 
breath, sending an ohm right down into your center, fueling your light. Om. Hari Om Shanti Namaste 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 <laughs> oh.